So you've been interested in a, another First Impressions. This is a First Impressions by Fragrance by Argos. But let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Joshua. This is Scent Vibes. And on this channel, we'll be focusing on first impressions, reviews, and you know, occasionally some other things like battle videos, comparisons, and maybe some top tens in the future. You guys, grab your drinks, take a sip with me as we go ahead and get into this. Okay, so I made a trade with a fragrance a while back. I've been sitting on this fragrance for so long, um, mainly because I started reviewing the Mansara fragrances and I just got totally distracted with those. And uh, yeah, I believe it's finally time I go ahead and uh, go ahead and get this box open and tell you about tell you guys about this fragrance. So this is Danae. This fragrance was uh, created by Christian uh, Petrovic. So he was a model, actor, and a real estate investor. Uh, he did a lot of traveling uh, throughout his life. And uh, he's now, and I believe in uh, Texas, that's where his home base is. I believe he's also doing real estate out there. But he became interested in uh, doing his own company. So we have Argos. The whole company is influenced by his travels and Greek mythology and Roman mythology. Now, I'm not, you know, abreast on that. I, I you know, truthfully, I know about some of the Greek gods, but I don't know about their in-depth history. So, uh, I'm not your guy for that. However, you can read through his site and he goes in a lot of detail. You can tell this guy really loves Greek mythology. So Argos is basically a giant. Um, I believe he wants to be a giant in the fragrance industry himself. Uh, that goes for Christian. Well, he was a giant that had many eyes and uh, I believe a hundred different eyes. And I believe he was the all seeing uh, giant in Greek uh, mythology. But yeah, and as far as, far as Danae goes, she was known for love. I believe she was visited by Zeus and apparently uh, she, she was like, uh, in a tower I believe they got down and uh, she gave birth to she gave birth to Perseus apparently he was known for slaying Medusa which is crazy all right so we go ahead and get this unboxed all right this is great presentation oh wow he actually writes, writes his name on the back of the box. Very nice. Make sure you guys can see that. All right, so he has some information on the box written in gold. Um, so he actually actually goes and explains Gustav. So it actually mentions Gustav Klimt. Actually mentions Gustav Klimt, which is the artist that actually created this image on the bottle. And Gustav Klimt created that image back in 1907, apparently and uh yeah it says she was imprisoned in a bronze tower following a prophecy that her firstborn would eventually kill her father uh Acrisius, king of argos while in prison danae was visited by zeus symbolized here as the golden rain flowering between her legs it is apparent that her face and fingers curled that she was captured in a climatic moment uh this is essential and divine fragrance and it begins to around the sense it gets starts to get into the nose okay so let's uh show you the bottle so i believe he actually hand paints on each of these bottles there's actually some like what would be like crystals inside uh right next to the name so danae is in the middle and then there's like a crystal on each side of it uh yes he has a little crystal on top of the bottle too very nice. Now this was a trade, like I said, so some of the bottle has been used, but the guy that traded with me uh, didn't use too much of it. This is the 30 ml. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. First impressions. First impression. Oh. oh, wow. You definitely smell it from the atomizer, which means it's probably very potent. Oh, that's a great atomizer. Very good atomizer. Oh. 
Wow. So you get that brightness. It's wow. Sir. Whoa, what in the world is going on here? So you get that brightness when it first sprayed. I believe some of the notes in this fragrance are some of the some citruses. But it transform it transformed very quickly. After like probably 10 seconds, this thing starts to pull back and reach and grab those citruses and throw, throw them away. And it starts to develop into a What, something like woodsy. I'm trying to think. There's something that God, God. it's like in some other fragrances um, that I've had in the past. This is very warm. This is something that you definitely could wear it rock in the uh, fall or winter, probably spring. Again, you can wear a fragrance whenever you would like, but. You know, I'm just saying, you know, those are probably the ideal times to wear something like this. Man, that citrus, like when you first sprayed that, it quickly changed. Actually, let's go ahead and read off some of the notes on this fragrance. So the top notes are bergamot, Sicilian lemon. So those are the citruses there. Heart notes are pink peppercorn, guac wood. Ah, it was reminding me of something woody, but I couldn't really put my fingers on it. Uh, so it was the guac wood that I was smelling and the cedar wood. Oh, cashmere wood. And there's also cystus, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. Interesting. You definitely get those woods after the citrus just die down. They start, again, those woods, they get those three different woods, they like, you know, drown those citruses. So this is not necessarily a fresh fragrance. You're gonna get a fresh burst when you first spray it on. It probably will awaken your senses, but uh, this is more of a sensual kind of like this will be perfect, man. I, I, I can't wait to review this so I can go ahead and fully ex you know, explain it to you guys with how I'm feeling about this. But this you could probably rock this with a date. You know, this Danae is, you know, again, she's known as a goddess of love or I believe she's a goddess. I'm, I, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not abreast on the whole Greek mythology thing, but um, she was known for love. This is, you know, this fragrance is not like a ton of stuff is going on. I'm getting a very woody. Uh, possibly ambery type of vibe, even though amber is not really listed as a note in this fragrance. Ooh. I do not know what happened while I was editing the video. Something just happened with my audio. It's just cut off for the rest of the video. So, uh, but yeah, I was just saying that the fragrance doesn't really seem super complex with a you know a ton of like. Uh, notes that you got to pick out or whatnot, but uh, what I was pretty much getting was woody, uh, something slightly sweet, maybe like in the ambery, which I mentioned earlier. Um, and uh, you know, those are pretty much the main notes with those uh, some of the citruses in the opening. But all right, so I'm gonna close out the video. Um, give me a, myself a couple of sprays. Mmm. Man, that woodiness and that citrus opening is is fire. All right, so hope you guys are having a great day. Stay safe. Uh, if you ever tried any Argos fragrances, let me know which ones you've tried. Uh, hit me up in the comment section below. We'll converse there. Take care, guys. Listen, after I sprayed those uh, sprays on my neck, I believe um, the more you spray with this fragrance, uh, the better it is because it awakened more of the citrus notes that are in the top notes. So uh, take what I said earlier as a grain of salt as far as this fragrance not having uh, that much of a citrus or fresh opening. It actually it actually has those citruses in it um, throughout the life of so far. And this is me wearing it about 15 minutes now. So uh, I believe you guys you probably can wear this during the summertime if you want it to. Um, but yeah, I was wrong. Oh man, it's, this fragrance is very well blended. And with that, that's all I'm going to say.